Hey guys, it's me, Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 and 8 of Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha Vivid. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. That is still loud in my ears. Oh my god. My mouth still hurts. Note to self, let me tell you something. Do not, like, it was extremely cold yesterday, so I want a hot chocolate, right? I have this kettle that can make extremely hot water within seconds. Do not immediately put it in an insulated tumbler that it's going to make it so hot, right? And immediately drink it. I immediately drank it because I was cold. And I... Burnt the hell out of my tongue, my mouth, the inside. It's the worst thing ever. And so now I feel like anything I eat or I taste I <laughs> or I drink, I can't really taste because my tongue is so freaking burnt. Yeah, that two-on-one ain't looking good. <laughs> oh, oh, kettle. Oh, for you know, a good minute. What if this takes both of them out? It might even take everybody out. I mean, because look at how big that is. <laughs> I think so.
Oh, tea is still up. Remember, she healed. Once again, the classic hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mm. Oh, nice. Y'all both got each other out. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, everyone. Well, that's what happens when you overwork yourself. I think it's because she's used to it. That's interesting. Right? And I think it'd be a good idea for her, but at the end of the day, it's her choice.
Be fine. That's video for you. Yeah, to hang out since Einhardt feels so lonely and alone and stuff. But secretly, I feel like she's okay with that. <laughs> Finally. It's probably the only episode we're going to have her show up. And that really sucks. Because you, you want her to be more involved with everybody else, especially Fate and Nanoha, because they're all, they're wives, they're girlfriends. They got to be together.
God dang, her hair got long. But it's cute, though. Well, you know, you can still get it and make it come true. It's just with hard work and practice. Right? Right? Like, she knows what's best for you for. <laughs> Dual sellers, nice.
It does make me wonder, are we going to have any guy? Yeah, there we go. We got a guy! Hooray! Kind of. Until it was time. I think this is going to be really fun, honestly. Me, I love me some tournament arcs. Like, that is some good behind bread and butter besides, like, Slice of Life. Like, Slice of Life is the good behind bread and butter. But with this, especially with this season and such, you're taking two different breads and butters and you're making some good behind bread. Like, <laughs> giving me, yes, the Slice of Life with fighting uh, sequences and stuff, and now a tournament arc and stuff, I, I think this is going to be really good. I mean, but it does make you kind of secretly wish that um, they had one for, like, around Nanoha's age. Because, like, Nanoha is, like, what, in her 20s? Nanoha and Fate had to be, like, in their 20s and their 30s, right? So... I get it whether, like, they only have a tournament for up to age 19, and then after that, you're considered an adult, da 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 but still, it would be nice if they had a tournament for older people and such, so, yeah, because, you know, kick ass, just saying, but yeah, 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 I love the fact that, you know, Einhardt is also going to get her own device, I love the fact that she wants to match with Vivio, I mean, once again, married. You're not married unless you match with your significant other. And so, of course, when she popped up with Chris, it's just like, ma'am, <laughs> are you serious? But but it's cute, though. It, it's uber adorable. <laughs> Excuse me. It took me out for like a moment and I'm like, oh, you don't want like a, you don't want to be unique and stuff. But I mean, in a way you are being unique because of the fact is it's matchy matchy. And I mean, like, that's like the cutest thing. Cause it's like, you know, when you're with your friends and you all decide to get like matching whatever, it, it's the cutest thing in the world. And it's just like something that you all look back on and being like, oh shit, like that's something that we did. So that could be like matching rings, matching tattoos, um, matching whatever. That you can think of that you and your friends would match. I don't know if I would ever get matching rings on or something like that. But uh, me and my friends are literally planning on getting matching rings. It's like the one thing that we were all like, well, I suggested and such. And I was just like, yeah, whenever, you know, insert character person right here. You know, whenever she comes into town and we're all able to hang out with each other and such. Because, yeah, you know, as adulting, we all have our own fucking lives and we're all busy as hell and such. And, you know. The, but the times when we're able to make um, moments for each other or just something is even more impactful for your friendship. Because, you know, when you live in two different areas, you know, it's the three of us, you know, busy, busy bees and such. That's why you always, like, communicate as much as you can. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight in three, two, one. You want to practice now? That's the one thing I love about Vivio. Vivio is always gung ho to literally do a practice fight with somebody. She's like, "Yes, you want to fight? You want to book it? Let's go! You want to do this? It's out!" Like she reminds me of the girls from We Cross. Every single one would be like, "You want to do it? You want to go?" And like, Damn. <laughs> oh my god. I love it, though. It, it's good. It, it tells you how determined she is as a character and how she is ready to, like, beat some girlies down 
And, you know, that's okay. Because her mama was like that, too. Fate's like that, too, as well. Because, you know, when it's time to fight, these girls be booked and ready. Come on, now. They both pretty curious. They, her mamas are pretty curious. They kick butt regardless. When it's time to kick some butt, the pretty curious be coming in. And the pretty curious be duking it out. Like, and it's the glorious thing of the world. <laughs> Okay, so that version will make her age. So she's still the same, but I think, like, you know, what? Hand to combat wise, she's probably going to be her older version. We're going to talk about that turn, though. Oh my God. So cutie the titties. Oh, you about to be scolded. <laughs> Told you. Oh my god, they literally BDS them in this girl. <laughs> First Utena, it, it was... 
gushing over magical girl slash fifty shades. And now this. So let's see it then. It's either going to look like Chris or it's going to be something else. Oh, no, I think she, you know, scrunched it down. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look at him. Yeah, he's made for you. Buy it. It's so cute. I can't. <laughs> no.
Mm-hmm. So she's completely fine. Tail is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Kitty patootie. There you go. Thank you on the little four way call. Okay. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Gotcha.
It is cute that Karna and Einar are both in the same group, but then at the same time, it's like, if they do have to go against each other, like, who do you root for? But the biggest thing is you root for both. That's a good thing. Girl, this is about to be freaking, um, what the hell is the name of that one show? Um, the freaking Starlight-ish. <laughs> oh, girl, it's about to be nuts in here. I'm still trying to remember the name. It, it's the one anime, Magical Girl anime, that I reacted to like a while ago with the, um, the giraffe that talks <laughs> that we were all shocked by, but it's like, no, we really shouldn't be shocked about a giraffe talking because you know, <laughs> animals. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And even if they are, they have to be. Are we all going at once? Got this. You think they would just let each person do hand in hand, but because of the fact is some girls are good at like using other weapons, I get it. But dang, that's a little bit of a disadvantage in a way, right? Remember to block! It's only the first two matches and we just going in. Good job, girls. <laughs> no. That's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. That's going to be bad. Oh, my God. No. Mm -mm. Uh, I think I'm smoking. Giraffe. 
we're gonna find that anime. Rev you Starlight, there we go. Um, I knew it was something with Starlight, I just could not remember. But the fact that these two are both in the same group as well, as they both said, there is gonna now be a possibility of these two duking it out. And I think when these two do come together, uh, one, it, it's not going to be a quick fight, just like these two just had. This is going to be possibly like a long timed out fight with moments of like, oh, either one might win, but who knows? We just got to wait and see. But no, for the start of like first two matches, like really good, but quickly done. I was expecting more of, like, for the opposite girls to do more and such. But I think because of the fact is doing all that training for all five of these girls, their matches are just going to go like that. And that's okay. I am okay with that. But still. Oh, it had them both together. That was so cute. Oh, my God. I can't all oh, my babies. Um, but I am ready for some good, like, it takes 10 minutes for a fight scene or a match to go through. I don't want to always see like a 5 to 10 second or even under a minute match between any one of these girls with any one of, like any of these other competitors because then it goes by a little too quickly. Think about it like towards any other tournament arc. So like My Hero in a nutshell with their tournament arc all those eons ago and how the level of detail and the level of how everything was choreographed and what each person had to do next or thinking of something going into um, the tournament arc of Yu Yu Hakusho and how that is very much choreographed and stuff or anything for Pretty Cure Sailor Moon or anything where you see um, characters literally fighting like for minutes among the most sometimes it's like for several episodes whether it's with weapons without weapons and such but they're still good and they're once again bread and butter like it, the best thing in the world but i am scared about the fact that these two are both in the same group because yeah it does make you wonder like when these two have to go against each other how is that gonna go is it gonna be seconds or is it gonna be minutes and is it gonna make me worthwhile we kind of hope that it does but other than that guys that is my reaction towards episode seven and eight of i'm about to say fate mm-hmm Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha Vivid. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.